Hi everyone, this is Tanya from you and your butchy stuff. So today I am showing a deck I got from a giveaway from Deborah or Debbie at Kendra's Journey, one of my favorite YouTube channels I follow. She is amazing at crafting projects and witchy things and just beautiful art. And I just love watching it. She makes me smile. Um, I'm kind of envious that she's able to create such amazing things. Um, check out her channel, please. But I won this as a giveaway um, from watching one of her videos a few weeks ago. Um, I believe it's two or three weeks ago. Um, it was, give it a check out. Trust me, you'll be fucking amazed that of what she did um, for like, I don't know, what to call it off the top of my head because again I'm discombobulated but um, I think it's like a it was her pup update and that was part of the title but again titles don't really matter now 100% do they <laughs> it's also about uh, the artistic value she has a lot to offer so if you're not familiar with her channel and you're into witchy craft work or just someone's creative uh, value and what they put out into the world. I 100% recommend that. She, I just love listening to her too and um, everything. So yes, and yeah, my rambling and ums. <laughs> no surprise if you've already watched my channel. And again, thank you for viewing it, even if you're passing through. So she sent me this deck. Uh, again, her channel's Kendra's uh, Journey. And I got it from the giveaway, and I was surprised. I wasn't expecting anything, but a very kindly, generously sent to me. She updated me along the path, and again, um, nothing but great things to say about her and the experience with this. And of course, the kindness and generosity that we all have in this world and the great people out there that actually bring a smile and a light into this life that can often be very discouraging, um, dark, or sad or depressing, um, or having a lack of relationship or communication um, on that, or realism. Often what we all see in this world is not what is truly underneath with integrity, but there are many of us that do show our true selves and help our others' best interests at heart, just to be the best versions of ourselves. So look at this box. So this is the Mystic Palette Tarot. Great box, as you can see. Just real quick. And not a full unboxing. I just don't get those things. I'm, I'm fucking awkward. We all know that if you watch me for even a hot minute. But that is Tanya. That's what I bring to the table. But I also bring myself in that. And hey, we're not. We're all awkward in some shape or form, right? We are the weirdos, mister. The craft. So I decided with this I'm not going to go through and do a whole thing. I haven't really had a chance to work with this deck um, often. My new job in certain ways is taking so much of my time and energy up to be honest. So yeah, this is not a video about that. But again, seriously limiting my energy efforts and diverting my attention. But hopefully a, a nice work-life balance will hopefully be achieved at some point. <laughs> Better to have a job than not, I guess. I'm not saying I'm not ungrateful. Or I'm not saying I'm not grateful or blessed for the opportunity I have in moving through. Things just, like I mentioned in my videos, rose-colored glasses. They're, we're not what they are seen or what was presented, but you will still with what you're done. And with that being said, here is the book. Nice guidebook. I really haven't had a chance, honestly, to look through this guidebook either. I did a brief look through of the deck. I'm not going to do a full unboxing of this deck, but I'm going to do kind of a first impressions and my feelings with gratitude and happiness and joy that this brought me and just the kindness that others have, especially the us fellow other witches and YouTubers that we have and the experience we have with one another. It might be hundreds or thousands of miles away, but you still can have 
bring joy, happiness, and connection to others and show gratitude and pass it forward. So I decided to go through and find some of the cards on that. This deck obviously came to me for a reason, so I'm sure with time it'll reveal itself. However, I did take the time to pull some just to show that some of my favorite cards by already looking at that. Okay, so this has Here's the backing. Okay, and I'm just going to go through these and show, but hard stuff is nice. I'm not a riffle shopper. Riffle shuffler. I'm not that. I just, not me. No, not my interest. I'm rough enough on my deck without that. <laughs> I, how I do it is a factor for me. Hey, what the hell, right? So that's the backing. Card stuff's nice. Good size. So I am going to start off with, again, I got the pile here out of the deck of what my favorite ones are. I'm going to show you, or at least my favorite ones for my first impression as this is just a shout out, a single sign of gratitude, a shout out to Debbie from Kendra's Journey and her channel, and that I'm grateful to get a new deck and a new experience to expand my perspective um, with the cards and my magic. But this also, this deck, in my impressions, it reminds me, even though it's created in the past couple years and hit the scene recently, more frequently I've noticed, I did come across my path before it, uh, it was, I won it um, in my radar. However, um, it has a very 90s feel to me. Being a, being born in 79, I don't have my age being born in 79, being a kid in the 80s and a teen in the 90s, um, and reached my early 20s in the 90s. So yeah, the 90s was a huge influence in my life uh, in shaping me and my path. And that's obviously when I found my witchcraft path, my tarot practice, and fully embraced my um, witch witchiness, my tarot, my guidance, and my spirituality, which is an anchor in my life. So this deck has that very much, the artistic, the coloring has that. If any of you are ever familiar, I don't know. I'm in New York State. And there's still one near me in my area, a Rainbow Zen, which still has that whole 90s hippie-ish, new age, grungy type of vibe to it with incense and stones and just, you know, tapestries, the fun 90s tapestries and things like that, mandalas and tie-dye, all the fun stuff, all the bright, colorful, shiny stuff, but all the just fun, earthy stuff to it, too. This brings a sense of nostalgia and the aspect to me, so I'm that may be one of the reasons it found me. So I'm going to show you some of my cards that I like for various colors or things that just jumped out to me and before I really actually get to know this deck and give her a thorough and honest review. This High Priestess. I love her. These cards have amazing, they're all colorful. This one, though, um... Of course, I always look for a High Priestess. There's many cards I look for, especially the Major Arcana in my decks. But I love this and the connection of this High Priestess. And there's so much going on in these cards that you can look into. It'd be good for journeying and vision work, journaling, color magic. I may also be, I don't fully, I'm hey black type of girl like me. Love, I love the color black. I love dark red, things like that. However... Maybe incorporating more color magic into my practice, my magic, and my daily life maybe is much needed to expand my consciousness and my path working. But I love that High Priestess. And I love her expression, and I love, it's very, of course, witchy, but has the, con the traditional components of the Rider Waite Smith system. And the Delphos is my favorite system, to be honest. Or no system. <laughs> I like this, okay, Hierophant. I love his expression. It kind of matches how the traditional aspects of the Hierophant or what one thinks of when they look at the card. The Pope, the Church, um, Abrahamic, 
whatever, Abrahamic re uh, religion, but also convention, that um, of basically government, rulership, and tradition. So I loved it, but I really loved it for his, <laughs> for that traditional aspect, but also of his expression. I mean, look at that. The stack that is full of expressions, interesting expressions, and diversity. I like the strength card. The reason I like the strength card is because when I was a kid in the 80s, of course, all those tiger motifs and cute animal clothing that we had in those colors. I had a t-shirt <laughs> that was my favorite. I wore with pink leggings when I was like eight to ten years old. Well, seven to ten years old, eleven. That was my really favorite thing. <laughs> and yes, I still smile when I see white tigers, which were the central focus of this. So, yeah. Of course, so that's an ode to my childhood. So, yes, my inner child's happy with that. Here's Justice. Justice is always one of the cards I look for. Plus, Justice is one of my birth cards in the tarot. So, of course, I'm going to have a opinion on it and an affinity on that. But I like this Justice card for many reasons. I love this Temperance card. I do love it. It's got that traditional components and imagery and feeling to it. However, I just love the way looking down and the alchemizing and the representative of alchemizing all aspects, um, peering within and integrating. So I love that. Plus the 90s feeling um, that it brings. I had to include the tower, my friend of me, of course. You watch my any of my previous videos since this channel's um, incarnation. Basically, you'll know that me and the tower are frenemies. But I had to incorporate it, of course. I look for it. I like that tower. I love this star card. It's beautiful. I do like this sun card. I also do like that it does isn't like a hundred percent of the traditional rider weight of the baby riding a horse. That's probably not my favorite depiction ever. So I like it when it deviates from that. I like the world and I like the symbology in there. And the elements. I really fond of the wand suit in this. This um, really speaks of wands and of dragons and the fiery energy of the wands and the staff and will and wielding your power. Um, so yeah, so I like that and I love the dragon energy. I love the three, this three of wands. I love the celebratory and obvious nature of the four wands here. With the fireworks, the dragons, kind of like a Chinese New Year type of thing. Horse, set of wands, plus I love horses and unicorns, so I love that in this deck that already jumped out at me. So a lot of the images I'm showing has that. I'm sorry about the background there. The, after I filmed my first video this morning, my neighbor decided to get their lawnmower up. But I yeah, can't change that. And I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. But determined to finish. I like this depiction in the, of this Ten of Wands. So, as you can see, I love how it. you can see the different aspects of what he's carrying on this world and what he's reflecting of others and how he's showing the world of his burden or what he may have taken on for others. So I love this Ten of Wands, to be honest. Love this Queen of Wands. Of course, one of the witches of the tarot. Many of the aspects of the tarot are, whether they're 
men or women figures are which are to me or have that magical inspiration but I love this Queen of Wands I do love the King also it's a great depiction now the of course the orange white fire so this is very good for an elemental working deck too and a very user friendly I do see that it would be if you're a beginner to the tarot um, but learning different symbology the cups here have obviously the bright, bright aqua aqua blue and the underwater energy to them like her expression and a reflection on this four of cups it, it makes me a little bit more about reflection versus being kind of indifferent or not able to make a decision or seeing the truth i kind of like this where they're perceiving more meditating and reflecting love the six of cups I always look for the six of cups in tarot love the seven of cups and the straightforward imagery of choices and options and illusionary by her being um blindfolded but the different options and choices that one must make or reflect with with that or the illusions of like i mentioned the rose colored glasses of options with that are presented with the seven of cups and opportunities love this eight of cups I love this night, of course. Hello, look at the imagery in it, as I mentioned a few moments ago. Ace of Swords, one of the cards I always look for. Like it. Always look for the Two of Swords. I do love this Four of Swords. Card I always look for, and obviously, love the imagery. Six of Swords. I appreciate this Seven of Swords energy. I really do, and the imagery with it. I actually enjoy this Ten of Swords. I like it. I like it. I love it. No, I'm just begging myself. Queen of Swords. I relate and in tarot when others that know me, that read for me, it's kind of my identifying card, my indicator for myself or my energy is the Queen of Swords. So, not disappointed there. I do like this and the imagery and the representation for the two of pentacles, this coin. Love this. It's like a fairy realm. I like that. I like the straightforward rider weight in this too. That's why I said it's very user friendly. This would be a even a good deck to give children or, you know, teens that are starting out with tarot or their journey that is kind, sensitive, gentle, fun, but obvious to work with. So those are the ones. I'm not going to go through the whole deck because it's probably long enough already if you made it to this point. But again, thank you, Debbie, from Kindred's Journey. I appreciate you given this to me sending this to me in the care that you took behind it but also love your content that's just not going to sway me either way i like what i like or dislike what i like so i hope you all enjoyed this or it inspires you to take a closer full flip throughs of the mystical i'm sorry yeah mystical palette deck on that and that you enjoyed this 
If you like or have this deck or any insight on it, please let comment below. And also please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if you find it or enjoy any of my content of the past or looking forward to any future or anything about this video as it's greatly appreciated. I hope this all finds you well and blessed be.